Good day, everybody, and welcome back to the 1930s British suburban house. Um, as you can see, things outside are looking a little different from when I was last here. I will just briefly summarise the changes. Firstly, we have these hedges here now. Um, this is not complete, by the way. There's a space for some flowers in there. This here, this pattern in here, is... I forget what it is, actually. It's the two of the new blocks. I forget what they are. It's the red one and the grey one, just in alternating checkerboard pattern. Bit empty here, to be honest. I think some flower pots will soon fix that. This, well, I'm kind of unhappy about this because you can't put two together. Trap doors. Simplest thing, just to make it look slightly better. Maybe it would have been better if this this area here was too wide, but mm, who cares? Stairs. These have appeared on the front in uh, sort of strategic positions just because I was thinking that the boundary between the roof and the walls was looking a bit bare on this wall here I have produced produced I have placed a large climbing plant of some description which has run amok but the biggest change has been in the garden got the cobblestone alleyway now and the garden is a work in progress I'll be honest we have this Birchwood decking here, which I'm not really sure I like, but I'm going to stick with it anyway. Um, otherwise, we'll have too much dark oak wood. We've got this shed here, which is the same colour as the shed in my garden, actually. Um, this here is a raised area. This is very much not like a typical garden for this sort of house. Um, but luckily, we have another garden over here to... Uh, do typical things with. My FPS is just all over the place at the moment. I'm going to have to stop. Right. FPS might have recovered. Anyway, I'm just going to plow on anyway. Right. Let's pick this small flower bed here. The principles of building up a flower bed are very, very simple. Tall stuff at the back. Medium stuff in the middle. Short, colourful stuff at the front. So. Um, what am I going to use for here? I think birch leaves might be too light for this area. Uh, but equally, I think we've got enough oak hedge at the front. And dark oak is going to be slightly too dark. Yeah, we've got a lot of dark. This stuff it is. So let's pretend that this shrub is uh, this tall. Like this. Uh, we'll have a bit of tall grass in here surrounding it. Maybe like that maybe that's a bit too much let's get the lilac in here add a bit of color lovely job purple's a bit sort of out there but we'll we'll, we'll deal with that for now um i'm not liking this double tall grass here at all yep you're being replaced there we go excellent uh large fern nah we won't bother uh hmm. Do you want to go tall stuff here as well? Yeah, we might as well. And then we want to put some short stuff at the bottom. So I've got blue here. Uh, let's go in like this. Job sort of done. We could stick in some azure bluets in here as well, like that. And then just fill the rest with the tall grass, to be honest. It doesn't look bad. Um, I will just, however, do, 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 grab some vines. Do it for the vine. I ain't gonna do it. And just stick these on the wall behind here. Why can I not place these vines? What the shit? Oh, wait, this is grass. Whoops. I'm an idiot. Never mind. I'm sorry. I apologize for my extreme idiocy. We'll just put these here. This is just to make it... Uh... Yeah. That works. That works. It's a bit sparse, I guess. Hmm. Maybe I don't like that. Hmm. Oh well. We'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. Um. Anyway, this area around here, we're going to adopt a different colour scheme. So we're going to chuck out the lilacs and the blues. We're going to go for a much warmer colour scheme. So instead, we're going to have. Oh God. We're going to have horrendous spelling. We're going to go reds and yellows. So. Uh, I want dandelions and that as well. Job. Um, right at the sides, I think we'll start with the tall grass. Then we'll stick in the rose bush or two. Yes. 
Um, oh, these aren't, these are, these, this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna go well, actually. This isn't gonna go well. Because I think the, oh, what have I done? What have I done? I'm an idiot. Um, you know what? Screw this. Flowers. It doesn't really matter. There's a stupid bat spawning. I hate these things so much. I'm going to kill the bat, and then I'm going to fill this with flowers and make it look somewhat better than it already does. And continue to lose my voice later. Well, this is the best I could do. It's just stairs. Honestly, nothing fancy about it. Just stairs on top of these. Um, I've also got the green carpet broken out here just to make the garden look less sort of synthetic, give it a bit of lump and bump, because let's face it, no British garden is totally flat, unless you live in one of the counties in the east, in which case it might be. A lot of flat land over there, a lot of flat land. So yeah, there we go. Let's do that. And the job is almost done. I've got these stairs here because I had a thought earlier. I thought I could just stick a couple of upside down stairs on the wall here, like so, and have flower pots on top of them as a nice sort of easy way to get plants into areas which are otherwise vacant of plants. So just put them in random positions like here. Don't overdo it because it'll look silly. But in areas like over here, I've actually I actually thought actually we can have a water feature coming out of the wall or something over here. But then I remember the door to the shed was here. In fact, we should probably get a pathway or something in here. Uh, let's just grab some um, moss stone a minute. Moss stone is what I like to use for pathways. Moss stone and gravel works fairly well. So if we just do. Uh, this, something like it. Yeah, something not too common. Actually, while I've got this, I had another thought as well. Alleyways are never this clean, are they? So, I just put down a bunch of moss stone in here, just to make it look like this place does at least get somewhat damp. Um, there we go. Ah, see, that's much better. Um, drain pipes are never, oh dear, that's a hopper, never clean anyway as well, so I think we'll go something like this. I want to have a water tap here as well, but I don't know how to do that yet. Actually, I just said, hold on, yes I do. If we get a cauldron and a, uh, what was it called, tripwire or something? If we stick that on there... We can either have the cauldron here filled with water, or we can sink the cauldron into the ground and then fill it with water. Uh, yeah, there we go. And if you don't want that much water in there, what you can do is you can get a glass bottle and you can remove some, like that. I'll take mine down to about there. Cool. Lovely job. Um... I think a few more of these stair things are in order in here. It's beginning to take shape. It's be I mean, we still got a big space here, which so I'm not sure what to do with. This is, um, ignore this for now. I'm not entirely sure what to do in two spaces. I've got a big space here, and I've got a big space here. I mean, I know what I'm going to do here. We're going to have a tree in the corner here. Which I won't build on camera. Um, in fact, I'll get the, get the wood now, oak wood, to remind myself there is a tree here. So I want a fairly big tree. So it's gonna be here. Yeah, that works. And we might have a pond up here as well. I tell you what. I tell you. I tell you what. We could build a weeping willow and a pond. Yes, a weeping willow and a pond. Because I built an excellent willow tree on my stack house the other day, and I thought I want to use this design again. So we'll just carve out where I th think I can put a large water feature. Um, that's a bit too large, isn't it? Actually, no, no, that's not bad. That's not bad considering it's going to be deeper in the middle. 
so sort of in here uh, this is probably this is probably really really bad but this is some insight into methodology into how I build there we go that'll do honestly that'll do and then we'll have our willow tree that coming up here do we want to give it roots? Willow trees don't really have splitting out roots, but we'll just give it some anyway, like this. There we go. That'll do. And then... So yeah, the willow tree is going to take a while to do. I think I'll put a trampoline in here. Just a small one. And then I'll come back to this area and see what we can do with that. And... Inevitably, I've gone a bit overboard and finished the entire thing. It's a case of once the balls started rolling, it's very hard to stop. So, I snowballed and finished the entire project. So what's changed? Well, I've added this tree here, just a bunch of oak fence posts and a very simple design. Flower pots dotted around, just for decoration. You can see through the house now. Um, I put some bins here, well, some blocks masquerading bins. This is what they look like where I live. Oh god, I've got, I got a mouth ulcer and it's sticking to my... My cheek is sticking to the inside of my mouth, if that makes any sense, or, some, or something like that. Anyway, it's very annoying, it makes it very difficult to speak. But back here, we've got a lot of changes. I mean, look at this. This is brilliant, I love this. Um, let's start here. Just a simple sort of... Supposed to be plastic chairs. I've added some pressure plates here, to sort of add extra detail and texture. This is a cold frame. It's just a base, basically a bunch of glass... Um, and some iron pressure plates above it. It's got a bit of a gap. I can't really seem to do anything about that, but never mind. I think it looks okay. Now, up top here, we've got our willow tree with different coloured leaves because I don't think trees are uniformly one colour. Um, there's a spruce log here. What's this doing here? Get out of here. That's better. Um, in World Edit, it is possible to create logs that are all covered in bark. I would recommend their use here. Um, I haven't, because I am lazy. <laughs> anyway, this is the pond. It's basically um, wheat, sugarcane, tall grass, ferns. Anything that looks like it could be found around water goes in here. Mossy stone as well. Uh, that's it. I've got glass in here, in the shed windows, and stone. For the concrete floor. I mean, <laughs> obviously uh, there would be things inside there. Trampoline, as promised. This is basically wool on top of fence posts, and then you put string underneath, and you can create a uh, very effective, simple trampoline design. We're lagging all over the place here, but I shall man onwards. Uh, table and chairs here with spare chairs sitting stacked in the corner there. These things are just jungle bushes on top of hoppers with item frames with white glass in them they go around the edge here barbecue um i'm not sure why i put a compass on there i think it was supposed to be a dial of some sort but never mind this is a cauldron with carpet on top um this design is basically a furnace with an upside down stair under here attached to this book is a lever which is keeping this trapdoor in the upright position no world edit trickery here i try to avoid it where possible and we have the other garden which is just a simple copy and paste of this one without all the uh, fancy frippery in it you'll notice that the house is actually the correct version and they have been copied and switched nicely this deck is shouldn't be here because it's a different design in this one I will not be doing the design of this garden on camera because, quite frankly, watching me design a garden is A, slow, and B, painful. Um, I am willing to do a tree tutorial if people want that. Um, not for this tree specifically, but how I work with trees in general. Um, but yeah, that's it for videos for the uh, British suburban house until the um, final sort of tour goes through i've been on a bit of video a video drought recently um which i can only apologize for i haven't been in the greatest of health recently but i also haven't been sort of making progress on other builds because i try and build 
in advance to create new episodes, but the creative juices just haven't been flowing. And for that, I'm sorry. I apologise. I haven't been outputting nearly as many videos as I'd like. And that will probably continue into the future for the time being. So please bear with. I might even put out a mini game video, God forbid. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this series. Um, world download and stuff, Planet Minecraft, all that's coming. Just keep an eye on it. Um, thanks for watching the series. Give it a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more builds. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next series. Goodbye.